Hi everyone, it's Casey Bellamy here. Uh, so sorry that I could not be there. I am in Calgary, Alberta right now. Yes, I'm in Canada and I'm continuing to pursue my hockey career, but I'm so glad that I'm able to make this video and just send just a huge appreciation of thank you to the Springfield Republican for creating this book, The Power of Women. I'm so honored to be included in it. Throughout my hockey career, I've witnessed so much amazing strength from so many females, whether it's been coaches, opponents, my own teammates. Um, they've just shown so much tremendous growth in all areas of women's sports. One of the most powerful moments besides winning a gold medal has been the fight for equality. And in 2017, our team had a world championships in the United States that we boycotted. And it was pretty intense, pretty tough because we put our careers on the line and we didn't know if we were ever going to be able to wear that jersey again and represent um, the United States of America. But luckily we were able to win that fight. It's still an ongoing battle to this day um, with USA Hockey, but I think in all female sports with equality, it's always going to be an ongoing battle. And it started with Title IX, which was such a huge boost um, for sports in general, and it's going to continue to be that way. Sports is a very male-dominated um, society. Uh, everyone knows that, and, you know, they bring in the money, so it's very, very understandable. But with continued support and push for equality, we're slowly seeing the positives on the female spectrum. We're seeing more female sports broadcasted. Um, we're seeing it talked about on a wider lens on the news or on highlights so it's getting better and my goal is to play as long as I can but I'm not going to be able to do that for the rest of my life so I'm definitely going to grow the sport forever until I die because I think that's one of the most powerful things that you can do and not just hockey but all female sports in general I think for the generation of the future, the little girls that are coming to our games right now and cheering us on, those are the ones that you want to inspire. If I can leave them with a lasting smile or, you know, lasting impression, then I did my job because being a role model is my first and foremost job, in my opinion, other than playing hockey. So when I see those little girls, I want them to believe that they can have a dream and they can reach it. And in this life, having a dream is the most powerful thing that you can have and set small goals to reach those dreams. And I've said this before, but eat, sleep and breathe those dreams because I think my team and our team is living proof that dreams do come true. So once again, I just want to say thank you and have an incredible night. I'm sorry once again that I could not be there, but thank you again.